Introducing the all new Corolla. We can expect to lose 50 to 75 percent of our focus. That's just the way it's going to be. UOG entomologist Dr. Ross Miller is talking about what Guam can expect from the invasive coconut rhinoceros beetle. Dr. Miller says this is based on the experiences of the islands of Palau, who probably got the rhino beetle during World War II. Some of the islands in Palau have been completely denuded of coconuts. In the main islands of Battledock and Peror, they've lost about 50 percent. Dr. Miller says the rhino beetle was found about five years ago, down near a hotel in Tumon probably came in in a container from the Philippines on construction material. UOG and Department of Agriculture has since spent about $2.5 million trying to eradicate the beetle, but to no avail. Now that they are established on Guam in every village, eradication is no longer feasible, and we're now left with finding ways to minimize the impacts. This is why Miller says it's extremely important to focus on preventing any new invasive species from getting a foothold on the island. And the newest one that he's concerned about is the little fire ant. It's called fire ant because even though it's a very, very tiny ant, the sting is like fire. It's very, very painful. Uh, and it's not related to the other fire ant that we have on Guam. We have a red ant here that most people uh, have encountered. Dr. Miller believes that this ant will probably be a worse ecological disaster than the brown tree snake. It's also a pest of animals. Uh, domestic animals are usually covered with them. They, they don't detect them until they, the, the dogs and cats they can't. They don't start scratching until they start to sting. And it causes, <coughs> they also sting the eyes. And so a lot of animals, especially in Hawaii now, are blind because of, of the ant. Uh, that means that the, the cornea has actually been stung multiple times. They cause a lot of economic problems in Hawaii now you can't get pickers uh, on a big island to harvest your crops because they don't want to deal with it. The ants are tiny and gold brown in color. They infest forests and like to live in trees, particularly banana trees. Probably our biggest problem that we would have here are impacts on tourism. If we have a little fire ant on Ipau Beach, for example, nobody would want to be on Ipau Beach for very long. Uh, you would have to use a massive amount of pesticide to control them. To illustrate the destructiveness of invasive species, Dr. Miller points to the cycad scale that over the last five years has killed nearly all of Guam's native cycad trees, known as fadang in Chamorro. At one time we had 1.6 million cycad trees that were native to Guam, really nowhere else, Cycus micronesica or fadang, and now we have less than 95 percent of those. So in about five years we've lost almost one point almost 1.5 million trees due to this insect that was first found over here at the Hyatt and, and uh, uh, at the Hilton. 